caught up in this fast life Every morning that I pray Gotta make it out some way Put a smile back on my mama face Let's, let's lighten the mood. Football. Let's get back to football. <laughs> Who is your favorite teammate and why? Favorite teammate of all time, uh, obviously other than my brother, is uh, Matthew Slater. Okay. Uh, he's been like a mentor to me. Been like a big brother mentor. Okay. Yeah. He's a good guy. He, he's Is he still on the team? He's still mm-hmm. on the team. He's been on special be, teams. Joke about to be like, 37 still yeah. playing. He's like a – like I want to say, like a Troy Brown, like you know, <laughs> a long time Patriot. You know, you know what, what you're saying? gonna get. Yeah, like he, he he's been he's been good for us too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Matthew Slate. He, he was a captain too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah We've been he, the captain. You the captain same too. Same amount of years. Okay. Yeah. He and he's been great for me because, uh, like we talked about earlier, raising your kids. His dad played in the NFL for 20 yeah. years, Pro Football Hall of Famer, and like you know, we talk about growing up in the hood and different things. Like Slate grew up around mostly all white people. Yeah. So, like, you I'm going to be honest, like, he talked like it. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, man, you had it good. Yeah. And then you start to think, and you was like, nah, no. bro, dude was always that guy. Yeah. He was always the guy they picked on. He was always the guy yeah. they talked yeah. about. Because like, he's in that neighborhood. Because yeah. he was, the, you know what I yeah. mean? So, it's, I always try to, like, I try to relate to different things and right. learn, like, man, just because someone didn't go through, like, things you went through and it was different, yeah. it's still kind of traumatizing you know, like some people in his position, they grew up hating white people because yeah. yeah. they just like I, they had no reason to treat me Man. like this. Like, you know, you want to know something? When I was younger, right, I was kind of fucked up mentally too because, like I said, my grandmother was in the nation. Mm-hmm. You know, my mom, so they had strong like beliefs mm-hmm. too. But when I was younger, I didn't eat. I wouldn't eat vanilla cookies. It had to be chocolate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I was fucked up. So even when I first s- saw basketball. Yep. <laughs> my mom was going for the Celtics and I couldn't understand it. That that's that's the home the team. Court. I see all white people. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Mom, how you going for them? I'm I'm going for the Lakers. They the black team. Mm-hmm. Like they got all the black players. I'm like, you going I was fucked up mentally, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I didn't know it until I got older. older you know what I'm saying? Truly like fully understand it. Yeah, yeah, now I'm like, damn, I look back like damn, that was kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I always think it's interesting too back in the day. Um, like when you just think about like even like Malcolm X and Martin Luther yeah. King and like uh, I mean I like I try to Malcolm X is one of my favorite. I try to look at Hands stuff down. like that yeah. and I'd be like, man, I wonder like what I would have thought back then. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you take religion out of it. You yeah. know what I mean? Take whatever Christianity actions you yeah. do or Muslims yeah. or being Muslim, and you just think about like what they were saying and how they were fighting the different things. Yeah. You like watching like watching the Malcolm X documentaries on Netflix, but even watching um the joint on Bunky Johnson on yeah, Epic, yeah, uh, yeah, Godfather, Godfather of Harlem. Yeah, I yes. watched that. You too, be yeah. sitting there yeah. and you're like, yo, this is interesting, man, because like, got to play the game. What Malcolm's job. saying right yeah. now, like he yeah. talking some, you know he what talking I mean? Some stuff. It's a very interesting like yes. I, I try to think back at that time and even um Watching uh, one night only joint that they did oh, with Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Oh, oh Sunday, no, I didn't listen, see. That. I thought you saw uh, with the um. Oh no, that was called the night of. But uh, go ahead. Regina one, King okay. produced one night this. Only, I didn't see that one. It was uh, it was um, Sam Cooke, uh, Muhammad Ali, Jim Brown. I give you my prime account. They was all see, like no, they was prime. chilling that night, and it was like um, they're trying to talk to Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X. Malcolm X is trying to get Muhammad like. Bro, you a world champ, but like, there's a fight going on. Like, you need to, and like, I'm watching. I'm like, and I'm not Muslim. I don't know much about, but I'm like, yo, Malcolm X was spitting some truth. You know what I mean? I'm caught up in this fast life. Every morning, night I pray. Gotta make it out some way. Put a smile.